Warm greetings to all of you. Uh, today with you is Veronica Seban. I am the owner and founder of Elite, a global leadership club. I am a professional business strategist and transformational business coach and personal development expert. Today we are here with an amazing uh, entrepreneur who has uh, switched from the corporate to the entrepreneurship. And I would love to uh, ask uh, our imminent guest and client as well to show you how she is serving her audience. So here appears the way how she has created here branding. So dear Eula, please introduce yourself and introduce your niche as well. Good afternoon and thank you so much, Veronica, for this opportunity. Um, my name is Eula Clark. I'm a professional retired banking official, assistant vice president for one of the top few banks in the UK, um, taken out of retirement five years ago. I've now set up my own consultancy, which is Clark Associate Consultant. I'm also a non-executive, so I've been on a, a board of um, trustees for an organization for two years now, but I've now um, done my two years stint. So what I'm looking at, my real passion really is women and women lead, women growth, women development, everything to do with women. That's where my, my passion flow is. So at this time, I'm looking forward to having a serious conversation with you, Veronica. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm very delighted and happy so to guide you to your growth and to grow together. Because what we have to, to remind, you know, to all our female leaders, the only way to grow is to grow together, empowering each other. Mm -hmm. and also giving insights and sharing our valuable experience. I want to mention that I am on a mission to unite, you know, global leaders to empower you, to give you insights uh, so that you can unleash your biggest potential and to educate you to become a real leader so that you can operate on your highest level so that you get the ability to unleash your hugest potential to serve your clients because that's why we are here. Now I would love uh, there Yula to ask you what is your biggest potential? So how do you see yourself, your own potential so that you can serve your clients? I think my potential with my 45 years of corporate world where I had to build relationship, serve people that I wasn't aware of particular how their um, culture and different um, needs were met is one of my key strengths. And I would look at that really as part of my strategies around I'm a strategic visionary. I'm a risk management person. I'm an executive leadership. I don't fail. I do things to grow. If I don't know how, I'll find a way how to improve myself and my own personal development and that of, of others. I'm also performance management in my organization. I'm able to look at people who are failing in their delivery and how I can actually support them to move to another level. And that's always been the case. My corporate world is about growth and development. Coaching and mentoring, we have that internally. So I do that now. So it's moving from that 45 years now to then say, I need to brand me. And using the skills that I've got in that certain length of time to grow and develop myself and work from that. Business development is another one. I'm really big on diversity and inclusion. Inclusivity is excellent for business because you need to serve the community and the culture that's around. The world is multicultural, so diversity is key right there. And also comes into it the corporate social responsibility if you're running an organisation. That means you think of others. Whatever change you have, you need to be able to share back to the actual community that has a need. So that's where CSR comes in. I'm process-driven, 
So I'm pro I'm an organized character. I'm processed. I look at the T's that need to be crossed, the I's that need to be dot. So I look for things which are, you know, if it's not up to standard, not up to scratch, we have to fix, we have to repair. I'm a network builder. So that comes from my from my entrepreneurship, my network and experience. I can walk into a room, I don't need to know you. We're human beings, we deserve the human touch. Hello is just as good, it opens the door. You tell me about you, I tell you about me. And then we start from there, next. You see what I mean? You may be able to introduce me to somebody that needs my help or needs my support and vice versa. Collaboration is key and that's where that comes in also. Compliant, I look really great at things that are not working. If you have an organisation and compliantly you're not right, we need to fix that. Because you here in the UK, you are measured on your compliant if you're running an, a business or an organisation or a company. Everything has to be just so. We all know what HMR says. <laughs> it's not correct here in the UK. Financial acumen, I'm, I'm fine with finance, looking at your, your um, business plan, looking at where you should go and things that needed to make you more effective. Women in leadership, again, that's my core. That is wow. my core. It's yeah. very, very powerful and impressive. Mm -hmm. And I think that you are a real rare gem for <laughs> our market because this is the most what, what we all need, including me, you know, like mm -hmm. we all need your guidance, your insights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I would love to invite you and to share the core values of your branding. So how do you differentiate yourself, you know, like from, from another experts on the market my um how i different myself differentiate myself from others is i do me yeah i i don't compare i don't fit into anybody's box i'm doing me from my i take it back to my my growth my development through my parents and that, so i lead on professionalism and integrity i stick by my values which are my set of core professionalism be open and honest be truthful provide feedback positive or negative let others know your feelings I'm not going to talk about you behind your back without talking about it to you first and I go oh my god yeah and I think also a lot of positive energy um, needs to be there so if I look at myself um, I don't compare myself I look at what value do I bring to you and what value do you bring to me yeah if our values don't align, then we move on. <laughs> yeah, we move on. Don't waste that energy. We move on. So I think Absolutely. it's alignment in values for me. Yeah. Uh, so it said that we need the first seven seconds, you know, to get an impression about the energy mm -hmm. of our conversator or, or collaborator. So mm -hmm. to know if we are going to work together or not, like you can feel that, you know, the, oh, yeah. the energetical vibrations. Yeah. That's yeah. enough. Like mm -hmm. it's not needed to, to talk too much. Yeah. Uh, yes. You're right. Now, now I would love to ask you kindly to share your vision so where do you want to go from now until five years where do you see yourself do you know what when i when you ask me that it's it's kind of difficult for me to look forward into five years mm -hmm. that is difficult because nobody's guaranteed that length of time so i don't like to go that far ahead i will take a couple of months then i'll bill on that and i'll take a year <laughs> you you know, I've just had my birthday the other day, so I've got to take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> and I would say for me, I want to see more women breaking down that glass ceiling. I want to see more women of culture owning their spot and getting the just um, reward that they need and stop the struggle of fighting to get on the stage or fighting to get things done. I want to see more collaboration with women of colour and all of the culture sharing in and saying, you know, we've got this. Let's fix the crown. Let's move on. So that's kind of my thing. I want to see where I can help people to be able, or the women to be able to do that, because I feel that is my niche. Having gone through that kind of um, fight myself and be able to step out and say, oh, I've done that. I've finished with that now. Now it's me. This is what I'm saying. That's kind of thing that I'm looking at. How can I progress? Look, 
I've just gone now. Like I said, I've retired now five years ago, early retirement, I had. But I've now been able to pick up myself and, and brand me. Now completed a book, which which I never thought I could have done yet. That was, you know, in, within two to three weeks, I had that done with my coach. And I was able now, ready for it to be, waiting for it now to be published and looking for it to be launched in, in say, the January time. Then that takes me directly into my personal coaching mode of where I'm looking to help more ladies. And I think we have a need, you know, I'm here to be able to offer that service to people from what I know, my knowledge and whatever you're teaching into me now, Veronica, I'm able <laughs> to share. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. So thank you again. Yeah. Yes, you are very welcome. This is my mission to empower so all of you, you as well, Eula, to mm -hmm. become a real leader so that you can serve your clients on the highest level. Yeah. With with passion and dedication. That's so it. yes, actually I would love to ask you to share your uh, mission. So what is your mission and the way how are you gonna uh, empower the women's I've got it my mission at the moment is to be able to um, support women with leadership development okay through coaching my niche is women of 25 years plus in that sort of barrier to be able to lead and build their own vision be able to then dwell and look at their passion their needs and be able to support them to build their own business or brand and and the passion is key for me because if I'm talking to you and you're oh, amazing you need to have the passion to make things move if you haven't then you need to go back to the drawing board the passion and the purpose like you you said you raise your level and then you raise your potential that's how I see it yeah. Absolutely, the most important. You know, uh, yeah. the passion is the drive, the 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 drive who is driving the flame within you yeah. to yeah. empower uh, ano another leaders and to help them to grow, to elevate yeah. even their mindset. So, being said this, then let's switch to the purpose because that's so so interesting and so challenging for many many female leaders and and entrepreneurs what is your purpose my purpose my purpose to me we're all being created by the the one god and for me my purpose was already done before i was born right but it's understanding what it is like you just asked and how do you step into your purpose your purpose might not even come aligned to you while while you're in your corporate world, because you're set as a nine to five. It's when you step out of the routine of a nine to five. You think, mm. And I asked myself that question when, when my mom passed away a couple of three years back, what is my purpose? And it, it, it was like a message come to me. It's to help others, right? It's, but how do I do that? Again, by collaborating with others to form like a chain, you know, it's like a, how would you call it now? a chain of mission, purpose, and vision together to say, if I've held your hand, I've helped you. We pulled somebody up. It's pulling everybody up. It's pulling each woman up or whoever needs a hand to be pulled up. That's how I see it. Yeah. Sharing, caring, and giving. Uh, this is powerful. I want mm -hmm. to mention that these are the main aspects of a real leader. You know, mm -hmm. when you do care, and you share you are on a real mission to take care of the results of yeah. your clients because mm -hmm. that's why you have choose to become an entrepreneur mm -hmm. um yes and do you uh, want to serve clients uh, only locally or globally oh, this is a global platform this is a world why should I um, limit myself to just UK? I've been narrowing myself in a box. You have online presence. So globally is for me, just like yourself. We're on a global stage, whether we like it or not. Everybody needs what we have. Yeah, it's how we make a difference.
Absolutely, and especially with a such a solid background, with a such powerful or knowledge and experience, because you are extremely powerful. Thank like you. being in the corporate world for so many years. How many years have you been in the corporate world? In 45. the financial world. 45 years. Wow, OMG, I can, <laughs> well, we are saying chapeau, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, because of your discipline and because you have been serving so many people mm -hmm. in, 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 I mean, entrepreneurs and different people that they needed your, um, your services. For now, so I want to mention to all of you that we are hearing to share with you our experience, you know, so that we you can learn from us the way how do uh, do we leveling up the way how do our articulate our mission vision purpose, and the way how do we collaborate together because this is the only way to grow together and to empower each other mm -hmm. for now i want to thank you so much dear Eula, and i am looking forward to uh contribute to your growth further and then i see you uh 3rd of september at 7 p.m my time zone 6 p.m united kingdom time on the feminine leadership summit yes let's work <laughs> together lovely thank you veronica you have a good day okay bye-bye Bye-bye, take care.